Hello and welcome to the 67th video in this series, Programming at Chess Engine in C. So starting this video, I've added a new file called uci.c, as follows, also with string.h included, to start programming our UCI protocol file. I've prepared, obviously, as normal now, a little bit of code for this. The first thing is two definitions. This, these are the definitions for passing the go command, and this one is for passing the position command, but we won't be actually doing anything with these in this video. But they're there as placeholders for the moment. And the other thing we're going to put at the top is we're going to define an input buffer. So what we expect the largest input string to be from the GUI. And I've put here 400 lots of five characters. Let's make that six, including a space. I can't imagine it being more than say 350 moves plus a few characters for the FEN string. Uh, so that should be enough for us. And now we can look at implementing the UCI loop and we'll do this step by step. This will be then called, we'll be getting rid of very shortly all of the stuff inside main inside vice and we'll be going straight into this UCI loop. The first thing we have to do is implement a bit of code which is to set the buffers for the standard input and the standard output to zero to, to sorry to not buffer to turn them off um, to try and stop any kind of buffering I'm still going to flush the output every time we put something to the console but this should turn off any kind of buffering because we don't want when we're communicating backwards and forwards with the GUI any buffering else will miss commands from the GUI or the GUI will miss information that we send and the next thing to do is to make some definitions and why everything is appearing one line to the left of the tab I don't know and we'll make our line that we read in so our array of characters with our input buffer available and then we'll print as per the UCI protocol our name our author and UCI OK to say that we've started in UCI mode to the GUI and then we'll now make our board here, and I've called it POS this time rather than board. Search info, which we'll need, and in it the PV table for the position as well. And now we go into basically an infinite loop. And we only break out of this infinite loop when the quit is set in the position info. I'll make some more space down the bottom here and bring this up here and this is now should be pretty standard stuff I'll put all of this in at once because it's not very much code it's not a very big function so let's have a look at what we have we start the loop we set the line that we've read in first of all to zero so we clear the line that we have we flush anything that we might have sent to the console just in case it's not it's been buffered even though this is set and then we use fgets to get input from the standard input and if we don't have anything then we continue then if what we do receive is simply a new line we'll also continue and now we use the strn comp which is string compare saying the number of characters to find what might have been sent in and this should be very very simple to understand we send ready ok if we get the is ready as per the protocol if we get position then we'll call our pass position function, sending in our line and our position. If we get UCI new game, we'll actually pass the position with a start position string, because this is what the GOI would send us to set up the start position on the board, and that's what we'll do if we receive UCI new game. If we receive go, then we pass our go, where we send our characters, our info, and our position in quit we set quit to true and break out of the while loop and also if we get UCI then we simply send the start info again to the GUI and one more thing to note here is say we called go to think and we came out of go if quit had been set inside the go then we would hit this and break out of the while loop and the bottom here obviously returns to main so I'll save that and I'll just type make oh and you need to add of course uci.c to your make file and I'll just see undefined reference okay that's probably because I've only defined 
these functions in this way. Let me just do this. And recompile. OK, good. So that's the first part of three steps to implement our protocol, and probably the easiest part so far. In the next video, we'll start implementing this pass position so we can set the board up, and then we can actually have a look in the console how the GUI might work. So thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.